All right, we have Dorian on the line. He is a former HSBC contestant. Um, welcome. Hello, yes, thanks for having me here. Yeah, so uh, tell us just what, what school were you participating in and uh, how did you guys do back in the, when you were competing? Yeah, so um, I went to STEM and we competed in 2019 and 2020, and we got first place in both, uh, which was which was pretty nice. But I mean, I, it was a lot less competitive then. I guess there's a lot there's a lot more teams this year, but yeah, we did we did all right. So, what for you do you think is the most difficult part in solving the problems um, in this competition format? So it was actually two different things, the two different years. So in 2019, we actually had a lot of trouble just reading the problem and understanding uh, just what it what it asked. Uh, just because when you're in the competition, it's just you completely focused on it, and it's it's really hard to sometimes even understand um, some things or you miss something. And then the year after that, we we just had to deal with edge cases, which was which was the biggest problem, because you write a solution and you don't build it in for test cases, and then you try to try to edit it when it's might actually sometimes be better to just restart the whole thing. So it was that was the main problem we had last year, just edge cases, definitely. So. What did your preparation look like going into the program competitions you competed in? Like, what classes did you take? Did you do any, uh, like, practice competitions or anything like that? Or Yeah, so uh, we I didn't actually take any, like, hard CS classes in high school. I just took AP CSP, uh, but not CSA. Um, basically, we would just kind of train. I think like a whole year in advance, even even over the summer, we just kind of knew each other and we we have been coding for a while. And just every Wednesday and Friday, I think we would just we would just go in and just practice um, in the afternoons. But yeah, I didn't have any specific preparation as far as classes and as what far as like, what we practiced. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's what it was about that. Yeah, as far as what we practiced, we just did open caddis or just previous years competitions. And then there's actually two main competitions that we trained for. There's this one, and then there's Lockheed Martin competition. I think HP also has one, but we never we never did that one. And they're slightly different. So when we're doing past year's problems, we, we focus on those two. Um, so so uh, for anyone who is watching this later, who's interested in getting into um, pr competitive programming at any level, do you have any recommendations for them? Yeah, I think... I would just say start as early as you can because I've been I wanted to do this since ninth grade in high school, but I just I, I never joined any of the clubs, so I, I only started actually in eleventh grade. So I would start early, and it doesn't really matter what your skill level is. Uh, you just you should just kind of go for it. Um, I actually, my sister's competing this year, and she asked me if she should. And I mean, even though she only started programming this year, I think I think it was good for her for her to start. So just start as early as possible. It doesn't really matter what your level is. So news from the scoreboard, it looks like a team has solved all the problems. Wow. Um, a minute and 30. Have, have, you, have you gotten a chance to look at this year's problems? Do you have any uh, input on them for us? They're pretty interesting. I actually didn't look at them too far in advance because I've still been in contact with the STEM team and I didn't want to accidentally leak any of them. So this is actually the first time the first time I've seen them. There's some, there's some pretty good ones. I think definitely a challenge. Uh, yeah, and it looks like your former teammates are currently in fifth um, yeah. on the scoreboard here. It looks like they're struggling on Quadratic Autopilot, Nightwalk, and Delivery Driver, um, which are um, definitely hard. Uh, Nightwalk is kind of an implicit graph problem. Uh, delivery Driver is dynamic programming, and Quadratic Autopilot is um, you have to do a lot of math. Um, mm -hmm. So they're definitely putting up a stiff stiff fight here but uh definitely other other schools have come to play this year which is really great to see yeah um, yeah it's been interesting to see what their strategy is it's i think it's completely different from what we did in previous years <laughs> you know one of the things that i i notice about uh uh the fellowship of the string which is from stem school is they're doing a very good job at getting it uh getting problems first time or pretty darn close to it uh, which may help them out down the stretch in, in any tiebreakers we're yeah. also first to get math in another universe. Um, yeah, it looks like it. So, 
I'm not sure how much experience you have just with software engineering or kind of computers. Obviously, you're you're now a computer science student. Um, yes. How would how would you compare um, competitive programming to software engineering and computer science? Oh yeah, they're they're definitely completely different. So I've worked on a few projects uh, for just as volunteering for a few companies, and it's it's just completely different. Um, in when you're writing actual software, you have to make sure it's it's legible, which is the exact opposite of what you want to do in this case. You just want to write it as quick as possible, and I mean. Best case scenario, it doesn't have to be legible because it just executes. And then if you have to show it to someone else, that's when it, that's when you have problems. But yeah, it's just completely different. You don't have to deal with, with the whole architecture side. You don't have to deal, you don't have to look at which way your dependencies are going or you, you don't have to deal with classes, all that. It's, it's, it's almost like the complete opposite. It's a completely different thing, but it can be, can be a lot of fun to just, to just write, write code without really thinking about the architecture, how it will fit in or how people have to read it. So. I definitely enjoy this, enjoy doing these. Uh, I also enjoy software engineering, but it's fun to sometimes just, just write code. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I definitely appreciate that about these competitions. You know, you, you hope you never have to look at your code again, but if, exactly. it, if, it, if it worked, <laughs> that's all that matters. Um, yep. And another, a little bit more news from the leaderboard, River Hill High School Team 2 has solved all of the problems uh, wow. on the 90th minute, so... Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, looks like they did have write some harder seven problems. wrong submissions on problem L. So they, you know, Pen A team has a chance of hopping them if they solve problem K within the next few minutes here. Um, Do you have what are your uh, plans for programming comp competing now that you're in college? Oh, I don't know. I, I want I think I want to try doing the ICPC, but I mean, definitely I haven't taken algorithms yet, so uh, might have to wait a bit on that uh, since since they're supposed to be a lot harder. But I'm I mean I'm definitely still going to keep doing CADIS, still going to keep practicing, and then and we'll see in the future. I would say in general, like obviously you know your same advice to yourself, right? Like start early. Like there's a plenty right. of problems that don't require. I'd say probably five out of ten, five out of the. 11-ish problems that are in most ICPC regionals don't really, like they just require smart use of data structures um, and don't necessarily need the whole, you know, algorithms knowledge. Uh, there are definitely problems that, you know, you need to know some graph theory, you need to know some, mm -hmm. uh, you know, dynamic programming, you need to know some of those things, but um, uh, definitely, you know, Sam and I, we were on a team at one point, uh, before we take an algorithms and we did like i think we got i mean on the scoreboard we did horribly but we felt like we we, we did pretty well like you know and and <laughs> of the teams competing at mines uh we we got like third or something which was pretty great oh nice yeah that's, um, that's great so before uh we go back and look at the scoreboard uh, just to create contention among the problem offers do you have a favorite problem from Ooh. the high school program competition. Well, I think, I mean, I haven't looked at all of them, but I think so far M looks, M looks really interesting. The dynamic programming one, that one is, it's, it's definitely an interesting problem. I think, I think I might have something that might work, but I haven't tried anything yet. So I'll have to try after the competition to see, but I think M right now, it might be my favorite. I haven't looked at the other ones too much yet. So Just... yeah, well, M is my personal favorite because I wrote it. Um, <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Storian. And, yeah, thanks uh, for having me. Uh, yeah, have a good have one. Have fun. Cool, thanks. <laughs>